in your way, or they can be in your way, but it's not really that bad when you think about it. So really this isn't too bad actually. So once he's dead, so just come over here and destroy this alarm. Now, before you open this door, you can actually kill the two guards that are in here without actually even having to. Shoot. I'm gonna shoot him twice though. This one's a little bit tricky. Just gotta do this. Oh, he's dead. So once you find this gun, pick it up, then head on over here. There's no ammo in those crates I've checked before. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna throw this convert mode in right up there. I'm gonna come over here and shoot this lock off as my shell. Now, rather than destroying all the alarms like right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ignore the alarms right now, and then we'll just go. So head all the way over to the far side, all the way over there. That's it. That's where that other um, body armor is too. By the way, it's it's in the corner up there. But well, it's in the center. I'm just gonna run all the way over here, and then just open this door. Close it too. Just make sure you close it to the point where the door shuts, but you can still get through it. I'm just going to run down here and I'm going to pull out the KF7. And as soon as you go over to the next one, I should say, I think there's ammo in these crates if I'm not mistaken. I forget. And so, he's dead. And so, I'll kill him. All these guards. I mean, if you just get this timing down, they can't really do too much. And you gotta watch out for them explosions. They do a lot of damage on double agent mode. So you just kill him, and then there's no guards behind here. There's there's a couple guards that are over here though. But unless you set foot in here though, like there will be a lot of them that will respawn. So some like in some areas there are like. The gimmick with first-person shooter games, I just don't blow that up, um, is that sometimes you can, unless you run into a specific area and kill a bunch of guards, you know, there'll be a, bu a ton of them that will spawn in that one area. And, and unless you're like really fast and you get in there, there's not really too many of them and they'll stop spawning. So once we go up to this section right here, we just gotta blow this up. And then we'll just go to the other one that's down here. And, um... Gate 3, I believe it is. And once you go through Gate 3, it should be right in here. Just blow this last one up. And there you go, there's a, a guard. But he missed, so that's good. And we're good to go. We uh, we beat Dam on Double Agent, which is nice. All right. So now we're going to go to the next level. We're going to go to Facility on uh, uh, Secret Agent. So the gimmick with this one is now you got to find a scientist by the name of Dr. Doak, or he's really a double agent rather. And once we find him, he'll give us a decoder. He's never in the same area, but you know, I'll, he's pretty much like really cool. See, that's what he looks like, but he doesn't have, but he doesn't um, look like that. And um, a Russian uniform though. He doesn't wear the Russian uniform. Is what I'm saying. Don't hit their hard hats. Okay, shoot him dead, shoot him dead. All right. Now, just continue the pace once you get into this room. Kill this guy first. Again, there's ammo in those crates. Make sure you pick up the um, body armor if it's there. And then, turn it on. It's funny how the guns in this game are really huge. Like, literally, in this game, these guns are really huge. There's even one part where you'll pick up a, uh, it's called a large key, and it's literally one of the biggest keys I've ever seen in a video game. It's funny. So, okay, he's 
So there's going to be a bunch of guards that are going to come out of that door. There's four of them total. Should be one more. I'm just not sure where he's at. Unless that was the last one. Well, if he spawns behind me, he'll be right there. But, anyways, this is how I take care of this next room. Start shooting a little bit. There we go. Kind of run in here and kill all these guards. Kill them one at a time. Again, just use the walls to your advantage. They start firing some bullets, then just kind of wait for them to stop firing, and then just shoot again. And then just wait for them to stop, and then just fire again. And it's not too hard. There's full body armor. He's dead. Still didn't find Dr. Doki yet. There's, three, there's a good chance he'll spawn in this area. But if he doesn't, then we got to go back to the other side of the facility and find him. But he just spawned behind here. He's not there. Right there. Oh, great. We got to go to the other side. Okay. So if this happens, this is what happens. Uh, you have to run all the way over here. Open this door. He's in the other side of the facility. There's only like two spots you can spawn in on this side of the facility. But it is possible nonetheless, though. So, there should be some guards in this room too, there's only like four of them if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, he spawns up there, so the guards up here will probably see the chances are. So, he's going to give us the decoder. If he decides to spawn somewhere else, he can also spawn like right there, and not just up there. So, now that we found Dr. Doak, open this door to close. And then after we wait for that door to open again, we go through here, we open this door, and then we just head up these stairs. Again, you've already seen this before, you know how this works. But the gimmick is now this door is locked, you need a decoder to open this. This door is locked. And what did I do? Okay, that's good. I didn't know anything. I didn't change anything. The door's gonna open, make sure no one's coming, and when there isn't. And then we just talk to Alec, and Alec will tell us what to do. Can't believe Alec got in the way of that throw. For mine throws, James. Yes. For mine throws. For pancakes. For pancakes, John. Okay. That should do it. And as soon as you blow that up, we are done with this. Now we continue on to double agent mode of facility. Same exact thing, except enemies have better accuracy. Probably the hardest cheat code to get in the game, too. Uh, you got to beat it in less than two minutes and five seconds. But I already have videos on how to do that. So if you're curious how to do that, you know, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll make another video. But uh, again, enemies are better shots. So chest shots are an absolute must when killing enemies. And so, I should just kill these guards. That was bullshit, that shouldn't have hit. It's weird how you can kill a guard and they'll get one shot on you before they die. It seems like it'd be like the last second, though. It's weird. I hear all these gunshots, but yet they don't respond. Funny. This gun is a shield. Doesn't do any damage. Funny. Anyways, um, he's just like he gets shot while he makes a turn. He's like, "I'll save you," and then he just gets killed. So yeah, now we gotta go to uh, the other room.
So we're glad the door to close. And as soon as you open this door, do these guards.